Microsoft has pretty much said that Windows PowerShell shall be the mechanism by which its servers are managed. And that's a good thing. Windows PowerShell can do some pretty impressive stuff at the command line, except when PowerShell doesn't work. Well, troubleshooting PowerShell can be a challenging thing, but thankfully there are some nice commandlets in Exchange 2013 that will help you understand why your PowerShell commandlets aren't working. In this upcoming micro nugget from my recent CVT Nuggets series on Exchange 2013 in the 70-341 exam, I'll show you how you can troubleshoot your PowerShell connectivity, as well as a little bit on how you can troubleshoot ActiSync connectivity. Take a look. There is a script in here called uh, new, new Test CAS Connectivity User. And what's interesting about this script is you actually have to run this script by piping in a mailbox server into the script. So you'll notice that uh, I attempt to run the script here. and It says, hey, you know, will you please either run the command on a mailbox server or pipe a mailbox server into the command? So let's go ahead and do that here. Get mailbox server. Fast forward here to get mailbox server. And then pipe that into new test CAS connectivity user. What that's going to do is create a, a, a user that I can then use for the purposes of running these other commandlets. So you'll see here I'm, I'm updating the test user permissions on DEN mailbox, on LAS mailbox, and on PHX mailbox, then also for DEN mailbox too. Once that user's been created, well, then it becomes easy for me to run the following commandlets. The first is test PowerShell connectivity. This will, make, uh, this will execute that commandlet, test whether or not PowerShell connectivity is, is working with that user. You'll see here that the result is a success. So we do have a, a successful connectivity here for Windows PowerShell. I can tell you that I believe the next commandlet, test web services connectivity, will throw up a little bit of a failure that we can take a look at. Uh, ooh, maybe it's the next one, actually, test active sync. Uh, test web services connectivity here. We got a success both on auto discover and our uh, EWS uh, uh, virtual directory. And then the third one is test uh, active sync connectivity, which, aha, that's the failure that I pitched in here. When we have a failure, just like we've done many times before, we can pipe that to format list to get the detailed information about what the error is. Okay, so rather than show you a bunch of successes, I wanted to give you the opportunity to see what one of these failures looked like. The final of the commands that you should be aware of. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.